you always see Filipinos smiling, cheerful, and very happy. You don't see that in any other nationality. You always see Filipinos smiling, cheerful, and very happy. We work hard to achieve and to make things beautiful. Life is short, just be happy. Believe in yourself. Keep, love what you do and do what you love. I love for family. Family will always come first. My mom was telling me that she's from Philippines and my dad's from here, and it was clear for me. My mom's were from Quezon City. My grandmother's from Isabela, tapos lolo ko naman sa Bicol. She raised me by herself, so I think that's what made us our, our relationship strong, I guess. She was uh, the uh, only one who was telling me like how to do this and that. Yes, I do visit my father from time to time, but when I was staying with my mom here in, in Dubai or in UAE, was, we were just alone. Playing with the Calabaos in Isabela, good and bad experience. One was right, uh, also climbing the mango trees. The bad experience, I would say, is stepping on the Calabao uh, manure. <laughs> so I would never forget those days. It was one of my ch greatest childhood days. The only thing that I didn't find uh, was actually confusing for me was the religion. So my mom, she did not convert to Islam and my dad was Muslim and I had difficulties like trying to understand where, which path should I go, which, which path should I follow. Later on during like when I was already a teenager then I just realized that uh, I'm gonna follow this religion which is Islam. But we're very like strict when it comes to the Islam like we have to follow the five prayers a day and fast and go to dua and everything. Culture wise or the way how they raised me I didn't feel any difference. I work for Emirates Airline. I'm a sales support manager and I uh, handle a portfolio of uh, corporates here in Dubai. So we do corporate deals here in Dubai. They get excited when they, they find out that I'm half Filipino. So, oh, now I'm going to be able to get more discounts from you. <laughs> it was really helpful for me being bilingual. I think also when uh, joining, uh, my, I mean, getting my job, it was uh, a plus as well, being able to speak uh, three different languages. So that's something that I'm gonna definitely tell my son to be proud of as well. I get excited when that happens abroad, really, because, you know, even though you can say Indonesians and Malaysians, we look like Filipinos, but for me, I can tell if a person is actually Filipino or not. So like if we are abroad and then I'll say, Kabayan, then they'll, they'll reply to me saying, yes, Kabayan. It's really exciting like to talk in, in, uh, in Tagalog and in abroad as well. It made me much closer to the Filipinos, uh, seeing how their culture is, how they treat each other. Uh, that's why I'm not ashamed at all of saying that I'm half Filipino. I do have half Filipino friends and half Emiratis as well, but I don't see them as proud that they are Filipino like me. It doesn't matter whether you're a Christian or Muslim, we're also brothers and sisters anyway. The way we're planning to raise our, our children is at least na Yung pagiging Islam is going to be from my side. I'll teach them how to do what's right or wrong in an Islamic way. But then the, being respectful, I think I'm going to let the Filipino blood get into that. So being saying po and uh, being respectful to the elder. Sa mga Emirati kasi wala sila yung word na po. Pero sa mga Pinoy, meron yung something na like when you address other people, oh po, hindi po. Uh, I think that's making it very respectful so as a Filipino na we have such th that such word thing that I'm gonna keep and teach to my son as well uh, when he grows up. <laughs>